this sludge ball. Yeah, so we go. And when this, the screen shrunk, so it's kind of, it's like that, so I think you really can't see. It's a little truncated, but it's a male client um, that um, has no, well, it's plugged into, into Gmail. I use Gmail because um, the spam filtering is the best I've ever experienced. Um, and they let you do stuff like this, uh, plug in your, your command line based uh, mail client by IMAP. So this is what it looks like from just a day-to-day -day reading your mail perspective. Um, this command line. Yeah, and I just hopped on this computer and so did an open browser. Run. I don't even need a text you can, to run it. And you can run mail. it in you need a uh, X Windows. Graphical user. Can, if you just have a, 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 a Literally, you could SSH yeah. into some place and mutt yep. from there. If you found and it. check your email. It's just like checking Gmail. Yeah. But and you can do that from a calculator. Or, yeah. or pre or pretty close to it. The same thing. It's, it's a very small shell client on my phone. Um, um, you can access it anywhere. You can. It's ubiquitous. Uh, even on machines that are decades old, it would still work because it, um, the terminal is ubiquitous as well. Um, you can set up multiple mailboxes. Oops. Now, if you are using that, where you do have the graphics capability, can you bring up like attachments and stuff? Or um, yes. Well, okay. Well, because that does come up, unfortunately. You know. Right. <laughs> when that does happen, um, that will, depending on what's the, the nature of the attachment, if it's something that shell related, I'll just you can save it down in S SCP or okay. You can do whatever you know that way. But if it's something I actually need to eyeball, then I jump over. Okay. Okay. I was just kind of curious if they had a way to get it so that you could just say, "Oh, this is a PDF, so we'll just open it up a window." I mean, if you happen to be in that right. kind of environment, of course. It gives you a 16-bit version. Because Gmail lets you do IMAP against their service, you can set up Thunderbird or anything right. really that, that you want to use. Um, I just spend most of my time here, so. I just remember when I used Pine or something like that. You could still break open up attachments. It's just that. Well, I haven't used Pine in years. Yeah, like Pine. Back in the old days. <laughs> they still is Pine is still around, isn't it? Oh, yeah. open source never dies, man. <laughs> it just gets it just gets less and less maintained. Athena, Athena, or NTD. Yeah, but I'm still so all your all the folders that you set up on, on the Gmail side are, are uh, folders on the client side. Um, Is it easy to set up? Yeah, just like any other the command line things, you get a config file, and um, and I, I version control that. So if I for whatever reason if this this is a, actually a virtual machine running somewhere, if that falls over, I just go vert, go pull out my mutt data or dot mud RC file and slap it on anything I want and it, as long as the version is you know vaguely similar to what it was before well, it just pulls in all, all the all the setup from it I can't show you so is it, sa it's, 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 it's safe is it safe on um, is your no. mail safe that's still on Gmail or yeah does it because I, I leave my because I guess you can pull when you, if you have a mail client, you can pull, let, you know, you pull it off and it deletes it from Gmail. Yeah, yeah. Anything I do here, it's live. Yeah. That's that's what IMAP does. It's okay. So just like Exchange or Outlook, or, or else you can leave it on the Gmail server so you can have, like archive it. So yep. Because okay. then if your hard drive goes bad, you can like oh. Right. And and Mutt, Mutt grew up in the era of. Mailing lists, so it's made for that. It's very, very, very good at mailing lists. So, for example, if I'm reading this recent new mail, I can uh, have key bindings 
to whatever I want to do, like reply to the list or reply to just the person who sent it. Um, and I also, I also rely on Google's own filtering, but, um, and you can tell it what editor you like to use. If you're an Emacs person, a Vim person, Nano, whatever you like to use as an editor, you just say, hey, I want to use this, and we'll open it up in that. I've, I've heard of you. Thank you. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.